Barcelona, Spain, if Spain has not split in two, its media almost has. There, the struggle over the restive region of Catalonia plays out in parallel universes. From Madrid, the region's secessionist drive is portrayed as an act of sedition deserving to be put down. In Catalonia, the narrative is more about aspirations for self-determination by a people with a distinct identity. We've got parallel storylines led by extremist representations that are filled with clichés, said Enrique Hernandez, the editor of the Barcelona-based newspaper El Patriotico. The central government in Madrid may soon try to align those narratives by taking charge of Catalonia's public broadcasters, Catalonia Radio and its larger sister television company, TV3. The move could come as soon as this weekend after another tense and unpredictable round in the standoff. The Catalan Parliament will meet Thursday to review a possible declaration of independence, a day before the Spanish Senate is expected to approve a raft of emergency measures under Article 155 of the Constitution to give Madrid direct control over the region. Among those measures, Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy wants to guarantee truthful, objective and balanced coverage in Catalonia. Such a media takeover would be a direct strike at Catalan institutions that have been instrumental in promoting a separate culture and language. It would also put the Spanish government on a path toward reducing media freedom in ways that worry many Spaniards, even beyond Catalonia. But the prospect has left Catalan citizens and journalists especially anxious. Not least among them is Vicente Sanchez, the general manager of TV3 who said it would return Spain to a dark period when the dictatorship of General Francisco Franco censored information. When a government says that it will take charge of a television station, I know that this is something very serious, said Mr. Sanchez, who wrote his doctoral thesis about Franco's censorship. Since last weekend, the Catalan broadcaster has received messages of solidarity from the staff committees of rival television stations, including Spanish National Television, where some employees have been openly criticizing their own coverage of the conflict. Ignacio Escalar, the editor of El Diario.es, a Madrid-based online publication, wrote that TV3 isn't my model of public television, but that he was shocked by what he described as the cynicism of MR. Rajoui's government in demanding truthful coverage. Spain's national television station, which is led by a central government appointee, runs news bulletins that have become obscenely manipulated, Mr. Escalar claimed. The divergent storylines have sown bitterness all around, and extraordinarily harsh characterizations and criticism from each side. Last month, a group of far-right protesters stood outside the studio of Catalonia Radio during the morning show of Monica Terribas, the station's most famous presenter. They shouted insults and displayed a banner that accused her of leading Catalans toward independence just as a Rwandan radio station persuaded Hutus to kill Tutsis before the 1994 genocide. Somebody who compares us to the radio in Rwanda clearly hasn't thought properly about what that means, said MS.